7, a message of hate targeting kids at school, fueling hurt, fear, and outrage tonight. The email is racist from start to finish and ends with the skull and crossbone symbol of death. 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom talked to students in Ypsilanti who received the message. I'm asking you, when you listen to these parents and to these students, try to put yourself in their position. Try to feel their anger, their worry, their hurt, and their fear. And then imagine if it wasn't them, but it was you. My stomach was hurting. My head was swirling. I was like really scared like for the rest of that day because you know, the possibilities of something happening like right then and there, like I was a sitting duck. It was upsetting, but then that anger turned into like nervousness and like scaredness. It's just really hurtful. Like it's like, it's like a, a like a bullet wound. Are you going to be able to just get over this and forget about it? No, not no, not at all. No. Ariana and Kasim are both seventh graders at Washtenaw International Middle Academy in Ypsilanti. These young people, these young scholars understand the importance of getting a good education, being good citizens and treating people with pure kindness. So when they got this email filled with evil and hate, it broke their hearts and their spirits for a bit too. I'm still out of words now for it, like it was just that bad. We know someone intentionally sent this email to six black students. In it, the N-word, and what Ariana's parents call a threat, a verbal attack, cruelty, and racism at its core. This and that, and this is our land, and your kids will suffer. At the end of it, go Trump. Yeah. And then it has seven, seven skulls with crossbones. I mean, so there's even underlying subliminal messages mm. and not just the words. Ariana and Kasim have not been to school since. Their families fearful and quite frankly upset at how the school and other city leaders have handled what they believe is a horrific incident that allegedly took place at the school they love. They did inform us that the email came from within the school at around 3.30 on Monday, J January 29th. The student whose name is in the email I mean, they have been back into the, the school community. They need to understand that they just need to make it a priority, put their children's face on our children's face, breathe deep, and mm -hmm. then ask themselves, are they making the push that they're supposed to be making? The Washtenaw County Sheriff's Department assures me it is investigating and taking this matter seriously, interviewing students and trying to figure out who sent this vile email. The school district, too, in a statement, seconds that. But this mom and dad say, in the times we live in today, this must be handled with haste. It's always that what if. Why be reactive? We need to be proactive in situations mm -hmm. like this. These families tell me they are not going to go away silently and just give up. They're going to keep fighting until they get answers and until they feel like their children's safety is important to more than just them. In Ypsilanti, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. You got to hope they'll get to the bottom of it. Meantime, it's been almost two weeks and the parents just want law enforcement to track down the IP address to get to the bottom of this. We are putting the full statement on our website at WXYZ.com. Stephen? We have new